The live-action adaptation of the critically acclaimed video game The Last of Us finally got its first look at the surrogate father-daughter pair of Joel and Ellie from HBO Max's teaser trailer of its slate of upcoming movies and TV shows, with The Last of Us revealed at the very end of it. A huge spoiler alert for those who haven't played the game and also for the upcoming show. Play the game first and you can thank me later. The 20-second teaser trailer reveals a nugget of what the show's main plot and setting are, Joel and Ellie are played by Pedro Pascal and Bella Ramsey, respectively, but you may both know them from Game of Thrones. Spoiler alert, by the way, travel across America in an apocalyptic post-pandemic setting to search for a cure through Ellie, who isn't affected by the virus. Don't worry though, our world won't go through any of the harsh conditions in the show, seeing as it's all fiction. Hopefully. The footage also shows scenes, characters, and monsters ripped straight from the game. Fans can see fan-favorite characters like Bill, played by Nick Offerman, in his booby-trapped hometown, Joel's daughter Sarah, played by Nico Parker, and monsters like the infamous Clickers, who are known to smash that like button. No, but really, Clickers are known to use echolocation, which makes the eerie clicking sound. Again, serious spoiler alert for those who haven't played the game yet, so what are you still doing here? In a short clip, we see the heartbreaking scene from the beginning of the game where Joel and his daughter, Sarah, evacuate the house to escape a pandemic caused by a fungal virus in South America. For those of you who had the luxury of playing the game, you know the heartbreaking scene where Joel mourns Sarah's death as she gets shot by the police. This moment was the catalyst that moved the main plot and Joel's character arc forward. Following the thrilling clip, we see Pedro Pascal perfectly say Joel's famous line, you have no idea what loss is, the same way it was said in the game. The teaser ends with a heart-pounding montage of the show, including Ellie running away from something, or someone. Bill's reveal, and finally, Ellie and Joel find the dreaded clickers underground. After receiving universal praise for the game's story and gameplay, creative director Neil Druckmann started to write and adapt the game into a feature film. With him as the writer and Sam Raimi, director of several franchises including Evil Dead and Spider-Man trilogies, producing the film, it eventually entered development hell along with a feature film adaptation of Uncharted. The cancelled movie adaptation of the game would have been so good with the original game's creative director writing and the king of gory jump-scare horror Sam Raimi producing it. Imagine it, the heartfelt drama and family lessons at the core of the story, but with some Raimi horror-like gruesome monsters sprinkled throughout. Think of the clickers, but better and scarier. But I'm pretty sure the upcoming show will make fans happy and proud of the adaptation, with the footage and images shown closely resembling the original game. Fast forward to March 2020, it was announced that the video game adaptation would be made into a TV show with HBO's Chernobyl series creator and writer Craig Mazin, with Druckmann to co-write and Gustavo Santolala, the game's original composer, to score the show's music so expect a few tunes to be brought back, especially the main theme being the intro music. The show would mainly cover the plot of the first game and would possibly add some parts from the second game, The Last of Us Part Two, with Mazin and Druckmann as writers, the show found its pilot director with Kantemir Bagalov. Later in February 2021, fans of the franchise finally got their Joel and Ellie castings in the form of Pedro Pascal and Bella Ramsey. I have high hopes for the two, especially for Pascal, because his latest role in The Mandalorian was about being a father figure to a special kid but still being badass. In the following months, news outlets revealed more cast members such as Gabriel Luna as Joel's brother Tommy, Merle Dandridge as Marlene, who is reprising the same role from the game, Nico Parker as Sarah, and Nick Offerman as Bill. Filming began on July 2021 in Calgary, Alberta after the cast and crew had their two-week quarantine in Canada. The fans' thirst for any crumbs of news about the show had their thirst quenched when an image of Pascal and Ramsey in full makeup and costume was revealed on The Last of Us Day on September 26, 2021 on their Twitter account. Later, in June, photos were released both officially and unofficially. An official still of Joel and Ellie hiding from a clicker was revealed by Neil Druckmann in Summer Game Fest. Coincidentally, on the same day, a series of set photos and video showing Pascal and Ramsey in costume exploring the apocalyptic town were leaked. And on August 21st, we finally saw the first footage in the form of a teaser trailer for the show. A full trailer is coming, I can just feel it. Maybe by the last days of the year, we'll get the full trailer for the upcoming show. 
I, for one, am really hyped when it drops. Now, it's no secret that the show will take inspiration from the first The Last of Us game. Look at the facts. Ellie is still a kid, scenes are stripped straight from the first game, and not to mention the cast is made up of the main and secondary characters from the first game. But for most adaptations, there will also be major and minor changes from the source material. The same can be said for The Last of Us. Maybe it'll plant the seeds for the second season, which would be an adaptation of The Last of Us Part 2, and be smoother in transitioning from the plot in the first game to the plot in the second. So what could the changes be from the original game to the show? Well, Mazin confirmed that the changes from the game to the show would make the story better. He said, so the changes that we're making are designed to fill things out and expand. Not to undo, but rather to enhance. It's not like we just decided, well, wouldn't it be cool if there's one episode where Joel and Ellie got on motorcycles and confront a motorcycle gang? There's no episodic nonsense here. The things that are new and enhancing of the storyline we're doing are connected in organic, serious ways that I think fans of the game and newcomers alike will appreciate. I think that what Mazin meant is that there will be parts of the show, for example, Bill's Town. It was a short mission and part of the story of the game. Maybe we'll learn more about Bill in flashbacks of his life before the pandemic. The DLC for the very film The Last of Us, entitled Left Behind, could be a plot point for the show, especially for Ellie's character. Left Behind had two storylines, both about Ellie. The first was set a few weeks before the story of the first game happened. It lets players learn about Ellie and her relationship with her friend, Riley, a new recruit for the revolutionary group called the Fireflies. Before leaving Ellie to join the Fireflies, Riley took Ellie to an abandoned mall for one last hurrah. It ended with a group of infected chasing down the two girls to infect them. They succeeded with Riley, but it was then and there that Ellie learned that she was immune, thus triggering you to smash that subscribe button and ring the notification bell, and essentially the plot of the first The Last of Us movie. To say that Left Behind would be a part of the show's main plot wouldn't be too far of a reach. Riley has already been cast and will be played by Storm Reed. Maybe it'll be told to us the same way in the game, said during the winter time when Joel was injured and Ellie finding supplies to help both of them. Maybe in the show, that plotline will be longer and enhanced based on what Mazin has stated on the show. What do you think could be some changes or improvements from the first game to the show that would make the story better? Would there be some awesome plot twists we'd never expect? A certain character killed off or turned out to be evil, perhaps? The possibilities for the show are endless. Well, there you have it. A first insider look at The Last of Us show will be revolutionary for pop culture, and I can't wait to see what's next. See you in the next video. Okay.